Howdy guys, this is Shane. I thought it might be fun to put together a $1 to $200 pedal board and compare it actually against my main pedal board, which is worth somewhere around two grand. I'm not talking about the actual frame that the pedals sit on, I'm talking about the effects. I'm gonna grab some out of my cupboard that are under or around 50 bucks US, and then I'm gonna compare them to the pedals that I have on my board. We're gonna try and dial the cheap pedal board in for the sound that I like. We're gonna compare them. You're not gonna see which one is which until the end of the video. You don't have to guess or anything like that. I will show you which one is which and see if you can actually hear a difference. So let's see what I got. All right, so this is my main pedal board and this is what I'm using right now. I've mixed this up slightly just recently and I've got my Wampler analog tape delay pedal right here, the Vibler, we've got the Carrera Overdrive from Buffalo FX. This is an amazing pedal and we've got the Tumnus which I'm actually going to take off my board. I don't feel like I actually need it and a tuner. So I guess what we're going to try and do is find an overdrive that's comparable to this and then we'll take it from there. Now I'm pretty certain I've got a pedal board somewhere in here so let's take a look. Got a whole lot of mess. Hey, a video camera. Cool. All right, there we go, done. So I think the trick is we really need something that does the Tube Screamer type thing. Uh, and we want to keep it under 50 bucks or thereabouts or something along those lines. And I do have one. I'm just trying to see where it is. Here we go. Let's go. How about that? The Delta Lab T01. I've had this for years. It's an awesome pedal. I was the first one ever to do a review on this on YouTube. So uh, yeah, let's use that. This is a Kalen delay. Let's use that. And maybe one more overdrive, just to see how we go. What do we got? Uh, stay away from these guys, junk. All right, what do we got up here? You know what, how about this? I made this, it cost me 15 bucks. We'll use that as the boost. So here we go, these are the pedals I threw on the floor, the Delta Lab T01. It's about 50 bucks in the US, or it was when I bought it. We've got the Kalen Delay pedal. This is somewhere between 40 and $80, depending on where you buy it. And the Boost pedal that I made, which cost me 15 bucks. So that's what we're gonna use. Now you might be asking, what about the modulation pedal? And I think I've got one on a pedal board in here. So this is gonna have to do. We'll see what we've got and we'll throw them all together. So let's see what goodies are in this bag. I don't even really remember. I'm pretty sure it was my, yeah, it was my demo board. All right, so we need the modulation. Let's take this one. Again, this is probably a 50 to $80 pedal, somewhere, somewhere around there, maybe 40, depends on where you buy it, like I said. So that is gonna be that. We've got this. We've got my cheap pedal instead of the Klon. And is there a delay on here? There is. Awesome. Probably just should have used this board. And that's gonna do. So let's do a comparison and see how they sound. So the way I'm gonna do this is choose the first overdrive gain stage on both pedals and in no particular order, then I'm gonna try the delays and so forth. So here we go. This is the clean tone on bridge and middle. <laughs> Overdrive number one. Overdrive number one on pedal board two. difference in the tone let me know if you can hear the difference between either and which one you like best already over to the delay pedals now this is delay number one so 
did a long trail on it, that one. But anyway, delay number two. Let's try it now with the overdrive on, on both pedals, and then I'm also gonna click on the boost. Let's give this a shot. This will be bridge pickup. Boost. Same thing on pedal board number two. Back to the other pedal board now, just for a quick riff, and I'll go between pedal boards. So this is with everything that I just had on, on the other pedal board. And over to the other pedal board. That's a huge trail on that delay, but anyway, that's close enough. Let's see how the modulation sounds now. Pedal board one. Pedal board two. And back to pedal board one. So what I'm hearing in the room is there's a big difference between the modulation pedals and now I'm going to show you which one was which and we can have a listen as well. Let's do it. Let's start with the overdrive pedals. Now these were very very similar in terms of sound at least in the room. Maybe on the recording they'll sound a little bit different but let's have a listen. <laughs> As you can hear, there's not a lot in it. And now with the boost, with the tumness. Delta Lab and my boost. Believe it or not, I just think that's a matter of taste. Which one do you like better is the best one for you. Either way, it sounds great. Let's try the delays now as well. First gain stage.
Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. Please let me know your thoughts on this test in the comments below. I tried to dial them in the best I could with the effects that I had that were comparable to my main rig. My main rig has changed a little bit. I'm usually using the Royal Flush, but I got this Carrera Overdrive and I thought I'd give it a go. And the last two times I played live, I've left it on my board. I don't know if it's gonna replace the Royal Flush, but it's a really great pedal. I'm definitely taking the Tumnus off my board pretty soon. So odds are I'll have the Carrera and the Royal Flush on there, which will be awesome. I guess the main question is, can you dial in a really great tone or a tone that works for you or your particular tone using less expensive pedals? And in my case, the answer is yes. I'm not saying cheaper pedals are better quality, but in terms of tone, in terms of sound, they're very, very comparable. And I think that's what I've taken away from this was two things. I can dial in my sound with almost anything and B, there's not that much of an audible difference. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for future notifications for my channel. Share the video around with your friends and don't forget to click like. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.